All right, now I will introduce you the HTTP module. It enables us to build server. Amazing, let's do it. Here I will import the, come on man, don't make auto completion. Okay, I will import HTTP and store it in HTTP variable, HTTP, okay, and uh, we use HTTP create server in order to create server, right? If that makes sense. Here I will say, uh, I will put a callback and this callback has two parameter. First is request and second is response. This is the arrow function. And here I will say what it's going to happen. Well, I will say if requests that URL is equal to root, which is the home page, uh, then uh, response will be right. And we can say hello world or something. Oh no, we don't say hello, we say hi, right? <laughs> okay, and after that, we need to end the response. Okay, so perfect, we create our server. Now we need to uh, store the whole server in a variable so we can listen in a specific port. So I will store into a variable, let's say server or something. And I will come down here and say server and the listen method will be listen in a port. So I will specify the port, can be anything. Like we can say 3000 or something. And yeah, that's basically it. And after that, in order to see what's happening, I can just also log something like uh, listening uh, on port 3000 or something. It's optional, doesn't, doesn't require to do it. So go to terminals, uh, just execute it. And it says listening on port 3000. And it's really listening, just look at it, just listening here. So if I go to browser, and search for a local host and column in the port uh, number that I specify in my code. Let's go here and it says high words. Perfect. That's the structure of building an HTTP server. We import our HTTP server, we create a server with request and response. And if the request, like uh, it just uh, realize itself, like when we put URL, it says request. In the request, it's a URL. And if this URL is equal to root, which is localhost and the port thing, it's just root. And if it's equal to this, then we can write this on the screen. Then we uh, end the response. That's it. And after that, we need to say, we will say, uh, listen on the server.listen on 3000 port. And that's it. But it, this is optional. It just uh, inform us uh, that it's just listening right now. Do whatever you want, something like this. So let's add another if, see how it works a little bit better. Uh, I will put the same structure here and I will say, uh, let's say API and parses, okay? And here we can say res uh, writes. And here I can just, uh, like imagine we have a database somewhere in the world in a server and we want to get this database, some data from this database and put it on the screen. But for now we don't have a database, so let's simulate it, right? So here I will say uh, JSON because we need to uh, convert array to a string. JSON string by, and here I will put an array like, Think of it like we're getting an array from database, just we're simulating it. And that's it. We just convert it to string and write it on screen. And then we will uh, end. Perfect. Let's put my face right up here so we can see the screen better, right? And yeah, so here we're still listening and 
if we go to here and search for this uh, URL, it will not work, I think, because we're still listening and we're like in the server, we didn't save our changes. So we need to get out of this listening part. So in order to do it, just press Control C on your keyboard. And yeah, it will just get out of the listening mode and we can just uh, start our server again with the new changes. And now listening again. So if I go to here and search for it again, and it's just our database, data from database and simulating, right? Uh, perfect. And this is our array. That's basically how it works. Uh, now I'm following tutorial on Udemy and in this Udemy course, we first learn modules, how to export module, how to make it public, etc. And now we learned to build very simple, very simple uh, HTTP server using HTTP mod module. And after that, we will learn a package manager NPM. And after that, like one hour later, we will install Express and build this simple uh, server with Express in more advanced way, like something like this. Uh, this basically expresses a framework and will make our works more simpler. Because in this case, if we try to build a whole server like that, we need to create a new if statement for all new roads, which is crazy. So we need to use some framework like Express in order to make it like more readable and maintainable. maintainable. So we will learn Express, but before I will learn package manager, like installing some package from NPM, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know, I will learn it. And then we will learn Express and build RESTful APIs, which is amazing. I'm, I'm really so excited about this. And that's it, guys. So I'm really excited. Uh, maybe I'm really so beginning of this job right now, but I will learn it. And I will build amazing backend application projects, etc. Bye-bye. Good luck.